I'm sitting here with Emily Weiner, the art contributor for Time Out New York magazine, and she's going to tell us all about the Japan Society. It's a cultural institution. It's a nonprofit, and it was founded in 1907. Which, wow. you know, so it's been around for a while. It's been around for a while. Um, it was actually founded to promote cultural understanding between the U.S. and Japan. Um, and so it offers quite a bit. I mean, I go there for the gallery because the contemporary shows are exceptional. What types of exhibits can we expect? Well, previous exhibitions have included a retrospective of Yoko Ono. There was a show curated by Takashi Murakami all about you know the post World War II Japanese art that's you know emerged since the war. And Hiroshi Sugimoto just had a show there. It was. One that he curated that was called the History of History. So he started off with you know trilobites and squids and you know just the evolution of of life and the evolution of art and then the evolution of culture and it went on to you know feature his own photographs. They put on really interesting um, you know really specific shows. They're all exclusively Japanese artists. I can't believe it's been around that long. I had, I had no idea that it existed. Um, I don't know if it, there's been a gallery. I think it's just been a gallery since the 70s, but um, there's always you know been the Japan Society on every side. That's still no excuse. I probably <laughs> should know about it by now. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what else they feature at the Japan Society. You can go there to see film series, lectures, music series. There's also, um, you can take Japanese classes if you don't speak Japanese, or you can take English classes if you don't speak English. So it sounds like a kind of a nice way, too, to kind of teach your children a little bit about a different culture. Yeah, it would be a great place to take kids. And so when can I go? Is it open all week? It's open every day except Monday. Emily, thank you. To get to know all about Japanese culture, go to the Japan Society.